Good afternoon, everybody. You're welcome once again to our YouTube channel. This is Niger Pride Crazy Tips. Please, if today is the first time of visiting this our channel, please do it to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that anytime I publish a video like this, you're gonna be the first person to get notified on YouTube. You understand? So, in our channel here, we'll do well by like we'll publish content like how to develop mobile app how to make money online and stuff like that so that's just the main reason why you need to subscribe to this our channel okay so in our previous video we talked about how to create a love sms app so if you haven't watched that video just do it to scroll down to my video and watch that video okay so but today we are going to talk about how we can create a music app using HTML and we are going to run everything using code so that is what we are going to do for today so um, without wasting much of our time we're going to start um, you might be wondering this um, like the kind of app that I'm using like this to do this coding You can go to Play Store and look for any HTML um, editor and download that's gonna give you this interface like you, you can see this Here is where you write the code and if you want to see the outcome of what you've written so far you Just click here. It's gonna show you the result so you can go to uh, Play Store and get this kind of app if you're making of iPhone You can also go to Apple Store and get such app or you can just search your browser on Google and then um, you can have uh, many other suggestions there for you to use okay so uh, let's quickly start so as I said before we are using HTML to write our code and as you can see you have to define um, the doc pipe so which is you're going to put this code make sure you follow me while I write this okay you don't say doc type is going to be HTML, HTML, you don't close it. And now we start writing our code. You know, HTML, we have the header, uh, HTML, we have header, uh, we have body. You understand? That is the two things that work best in HTML. So, what we're going to put down now is HTML. HTML, you don't close it. The next will be um, the head. The head. And the next will be body. Body. Why? Um, now we'll start closing the tag by putting this sign. You close the tag by putting the body. You close it. The next should be a head tag. You close the head tag that you've opened so far. That is it. So now we'll start writing our code. This is the main HTML document, okay? Um, now we need to start writing our code. So um, in this um, HTML right away, we're going to make use of our body. Here is where we're going to be writing our code. Anything you write under this body to body tag is going to reflect on your uh, browser or when you hit uh, this out output um, section okay so what we're going to do now is i will quickly need to start writing our code now the first thing i will need to put there is style hmm. i need to put style okay we're talking about a music app yeah we're talking about music app here you put the you open a tag which is the audio attribute you have put the source that is audio source is equals to this is it now you now put the, the audio source like the url of the audio and to make sure um the the link have uh, this uh, mp3 at, as extension mp3 so what are we going to do we're going to use audio dot mp3 this is a link to the audio that we are going to be using here so once you put down this you now close you now put this put this if you omit any of this code i don't think you're going to get the exact result okay so after writing this code you now close it with you're going to put control Mm? Now you close it with audio. Uh, 
all right now we're going to test what we've written so far we're going to hit uh, this output button to see if what we're doing is working or not noted all right this is it you can see it this is the code like let's copy this let's just copy this copy this code and then paste it somewhere here then you need to put paragraph so that another one will show up because like this now this first one that we pasted is now lapping with the other the other second one are you getting it now now for you to separate the boat you will put this code i'm going to put h hr just close it go there and see that it's supposed to show what's wrong yeah, okay oh sorry it's supposed to be p paragraph sorry i made a mistake What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. Okay. We don't need to give up. That is good. They give headache. But we can still do it, bro. You can see it. Um, this line now is a little bit fenty so we need to add more weight on it you can see this particular code here now is taking care of this particular one now is taking care of the weight you can see it now the height let's put this hr style is equals to this sign then height here is where you're going to put the you can see here it's zero px you see so what we're going to do going to put something here let's put something like 10 px then here is the hollow the color and that's all you can see it now it's now bolder right now but this this the boldness of it is too much let's just reduce it to let's say half of that which is five mm -hmm. still big but let's just use it this way all right i think this is going this is good but I don't really like this uh, interface. I don't just like it. Maybe we'll put more code so that. Oh, let's use corner radius. We are going to use corner radius now to, to make it neat. But here we're going to apply CSS. Mm, yes, we're going to write the code at the. We're going to remove this particular style and this, um, this uh, horizontal. Yeah, rule we're going to remove it then check that check back there you notice that the rule is no more there so but now we we'll go to our code again go to head tag you now say style mm -hmm. we're going to close the, the, the tag and now start another one stick with another style we close it like this right style mm -hmm. now in between the the style tag and the closed one you know write write down this code let's say ash example one let's say example one or you can just put anything this particular example one is just serving as as id to the code that we are about to right so you can use anything here you can just choose to use only hash then you put only e that e now is going to serve as your your id so let's just leave it at this uh, example one okay now we're going to open these brackets and we we'll start right now our code we are going to put the border first the border is going to be let's say two px the color is going to be a kind of uh, solid blue let's, let's put blue. okay 
then you put this then after the border what else we are going to put padding you put the padding the padding should be let's put 10 px px 10 px okay the next one should be border radius border radius the border radius the border radius should be let's say 50 50 50 px by 50 px by 50 px hmm? then what else i don't think yeah, i still have another thing to put hmm? oh do we have any other thing to put there we have border we have padding we have border radius what else all right we leave it like that now let's go to to at the body of uh of the stuff and then write our code in between here here we're going to say example no we're going to put div the div you can put the id id which is is equals to uh, example one example one you see and i'll close it hmm? then after this mm -hmm. what else you come to this place and output now put the iv close the tag Mm -hmm. Now let's check. Correct. You can see it. I think this is this is good enough. But the problem here is that everything is in corner radius. Let's change the corner to. Uh, let's. The pattern is ten. This is fifty fifty. No. Let's use five five. right you can see it it's not good it's not nice it's very great and if you want to change the color background of this particular one you can just oh let's use let's say 50 here 50 here and let me just say 10 by 5 or uh, 20 Five. Twenty-five by five. Well, this is great. Now let's change the color, the color background. You want to change the the color background? You go to the header and then put color. Is it color or background? Let's just use background. Make sure you put this. Now say um. What should we use? Let's say gold green color. This is nice. This is very nice. You can just play your song and nothing will happen to your stuff. Now, what are we going to? We're going to erase this particular code, the code for this one, now, for this one, and then copy the one for this, and then start placing it so that you gain more features and the rest of them. Now let's go back there, locate this particular one, no, the one of uh, Drake, uh, yeah. Let's remove this. Mm -hmm. Let's remove one, remaining this now. We're going to copy this particular one now. Like this, you copy it. I will start placing it one after the other. Start pasting it. Okay. Alright. The first one. Okay. Put it here. D I V. Mm -hmm. This is very neat. Neat. I love this app. I love this app. Copy it again. 
we'll start placing it here you continue placing it continue placing it continuously paste it all right this is our app i think this interface is very neat and very nice all right but the problem now is that you get to this point and you notice that something is conflicting here the space between here and here is not the same thing so what do we do if you like it this way you can you remove some code here it will lap with the other one but if you don't like it this way like i don't like it this way what you will do is you locate that particular side and then put something here this is it put this uh, paragraph here make sure you put paragraph so that it will not separate from the other one this is it put paragraph you can see it started separating the remaining one you locate that particular one this is it this is it here and i put the appear sign okay everything is done in order now for us to convert this app this stuff now to app what are we going to do we are going to host this part, this app now so that it will turn to real app now but before we do that i think we're going to quit this uh, video here and continue in our next video just do well to make sure you continue with our next video so that you will see everything live and also we're going to put our ideas so that it's to be showing like this one now